This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. direct from New York, New York, the city so nice, I named it twice, uh, I don't know how many times I've said that, and I don't know how many more times I will say it once again, okay, it is Tuesday, huh, already it's Tuesday, okay, and uh, uh, I, uh, let me see here, I have to add somebody to our panel, because he's uh, with us every week about this time, uh, let me see here. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, and uh, let me see here. Got to push the right button, and there he is. Uh, Phil Meyer. Hello, Phil. Hey, Alex. It's been another week, and what a what a day it's been. You know. Well, I, wait, 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 wait. You took your you. T- what did you take that on your flight back? Yeah. That was the seat <laughs> all the way in the back of the plane. Yeah. yeah. You, you see the front of the plane? No, you can't because it's too far away. Yeah. Now, did they give you money back? <laughs> Not yet. I haven't uh, haven't made contact with them. Oh, really? Well, they yeah. should. They should have given you the money back right then and there, or an extra ticket, or uh, some kind of you know perk. Uh, I, I know what I want. I want uh, first class positive space upgrade. Well, in case they, people don't know what we're talking about, a couple of weeks ago you paid. Nine hundred dollars for a round trip first class ticket all the way to Denver. Right. Well, and coming you know, back, they somehow couldn't accommodate you in first class and put you right there <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, right. <laughs> but at least you could do your 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 side of our program from there because I know they let you bring in your mic and everything. You know. Absolutely. Hey, yeah, they're very accommodating. Yeah, that yeah. United Airlines, they they really treat you right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They treat all the airlines treat you like crap now. They treat you like steerage. Have you noticed all the people having fights on the airlines yeah. over masks and fights between passengers and they come to fisticuffs and they get arrested? Well, they should. Uh, well, yeah. You but, know, because the airlines treat them like crap. I mean, you're treated like chattel. Well, maybe you they know, are. It's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah. Hey, horrible. uh,. Uh, you know, lots lots happened today. Nah, uh, nothing, what, nothing much happened. Yesterday, they they let the moratorium on evictions uh, expire. Yeah, and then and, today, uh, our president is kind of bringing them back. I don't think he can. Uh, what, uh, according to uh, his spokeswoman, she said that the Congress needs to do it, and since or the, the con- individual states can do it. Uh, maybe here but... in New York, it does not uh, the uh, it does not expire until January. Uh, is it January? The yeah. Evictions. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. So you're lucky. And guess who did that? Uh, your your uh, mayor. No. This is Cuomo. The state. Yeah. Andrew uh, Cuomo uh, said said an executive order that made it so the the uh, eviction forgiveness or whatever. Uh, was uh, uh, not not to expire until January. Yeah, well, uh, according to what I read today, I guess the CDC uh, said that they wanted to extend the moratorium for 60 days. And uh, How does the CDC, uh, I don't get it. How does the CDC do that? Uh, they're saying it's because of COVID, that they, don't, they want to stem the, uh, the spread of COVID uh, mm-hmm. With the new cases and all of these things, so they by claim- by throwing people out of their homes, you're throwing them out into the street where they can get COVID. Well, that's what the CDC says. Yeah. But uh, according to Biden and his spokeswoman, they said that the uh, that Biden couldn't do it, and the only people that could would be Congress. I guess on a federal level, mm-hmm. not on a state level, but uh, on the on the federal level. Uh, well, then, then if it's up to Congress, they're going to have a lot of people out on the street. Well, Congress went on uh, their uh, vacation or their yep. break. Yep. 
They should uh, never take a vacation. They should never be allowed to take a vacation. We pay them yeah. good money. They should be there all the time. Well, maybe, maybe if that was the case, they wouldn't run uh, for 40 years straight and uh, keep getting elected. That's, to that's correct. Seat. That's correct. If you made them work 365 days a year, they go, this job sucks. I'm leaving. Yeah. Yeah, I'm one termer, you know. If you and that told the Supreme fun. Court that they had to be in session every day of the year, they're out yeah. of there. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. you know, then they packed the Supreme Court. Hey, um, mm -hmm. let me ask you, Mr. Cuomo, Governor Cuomo. Oh, he's, did, he, did he do uh, something? Yeah, he's in the hot seat. He, he, he's got less pull. He'd be sitting behind me on this plane. Uh, he, he's, he's in, he's in the dumps. Well, uh, uh, yeah, let's, let's take this a step at a time. Okay. okay. Let me, let me ask you a question. Do you still support him? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So hundred percent. Hundred percent. would you say why you still support him? I support him because I think he's done well by this state. I think he saved my life during COVID by passing all kinds of rules and regulations to kind of stem the tide of the of, of it here. This state was the safest state to be in after the after the initial pandemic because of largely because of uh, Andrew Cuomo. Well, let me. So he me, saved my life. So I think I owe him something. And, back. and let yeah. me ask you this: uh, use this as a as a uh, same strategy, different person. W would you have Would you have supported Mussolini because he made the trains run on time? Well, no, because uh, the two two separate people. And two I, se I know it's two, two separate, separate people, conditions because you see the other stuff that Mussolini was doing wasn't it wasn't uh, you know didn't overcome uh, uh, or w wasn't surpassed by trains coming in on time. So the the complainants. That's a very, that, may I say, Phil, that's a yeah. very stupid analogy. Uh, no, that it's not. That may be the stupidest out. analogy I've ever heard come out of you. Well, hey, yeah. look, you know, if he made the trains run on time, uh, Cuomo, you claim, saved your life. I mean, the Italians are, are very happy. I, I think then. there's a big difference between saving my life and the trains running on time. I'm not to the Italians. Yeah. Well, anyway, but, uh, you know, Biden has. Uh, and what were the Italians know, doing at those railroad stations while the trains were running on time? What were they doing? Shipping Jews out no, to. No, no, oh. no, no. They were pinching women in the ass. Okay. My so my ex-wife was... Ronnie. Oh. My wife Ronnie. My ex-wife Ronnie. And it was we, we, I had to drop her off at an Italian train, train station because she she, I, she lost either her passport or something. I'm she had sure. to go in there to get it taken care of. When she came back, her ass was black and blue, and I'm not kidding. Are you sure it wasn't Susan? No, no. Oh, okay. I mean, but no, but it was. I mean, it is. And 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 Cuomo's an Italian, so let him pinch a few asses. Right. They're well, happy with that. You know, you know his defense uh, against groping these women, patting them on the ass, rubbing his finger up their spine. It's kind of sexy. Uh, no, well, he, no, no, wait a minute. That one woman is complaining that no, he traced women, his women finger women. from her belly button to her hip. Would you tr right now trace your finger from your belly button to your hip? Is that, yeah, that in any, is that in any way sexual? He was going for her gun. That was a cop. Oh, I see. And then, then he what? Did, what was the other part of her body? She he went up to. I think it was the back. The uh, back, you know, up the back, up, lightly, neck, lightly uh, up the, the back, and that's what she complained about. Yes. Now, she's in a workplace. She's a married woman, and he was making all sorts of sexual innuendos. But uh, you, you know what his defense is today. He, he's got pictures of Obama and Biden hugging. And he says, you know, these guys were hugging. Why can't I do that? But, you know. Okay, look, look. look this look, is going look, a back little off, too far. Back off a little bit. All right, it's going too far. Judge Napolitano, all right, just got fired from Fox. Why did he get fired from Fox? Because he sucks. No, no, yeah, that's true. He was sort of anti-Trump. I was happy they fired him, but you know what he did? What? He 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 rubbed his hand on a male in. Uh, uh, he wasn't an intern. He was a uh, 
uh, one step up from an intern an producer. Assistant. Producer, uh, okay. A male producer's shoulder. He he glanced his hand over it. Now, I do that all the time uh, because with customers, for instance, I I believe that y you have to have a connection, and uh, you know I'll put my hand on somebody's uh, uh, shoulder or something. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, it, and I think it's a sign of an endearment and, and and so forth. I don't see anything wrong with it, but he got fired. And now uh, another Fox guy, Larry Kudlow, who was uh, Trump's uh, economic advisor. Yeah. Uh, he's being sued uh, uh, because they're claiming he's a ra he's done uh, said racist things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I believe that. Well, do you think that maybe the... Okay, let, let, let's back up a little bit here. Okay, backing it up. Back on it. Back. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Me, me, me. Let's back it up. Uh, first of all, and I think you will agree with me, that we've become a little too sensitive as to what constitutes this kind of behavior. In other words, we are now saying that what... Cuomo did is as bad as what Weinstein did. That rape, wait a minute, that this is as bad as rape. And you know something? You really diminish the act of rape when you do that. You know? Yeah. And all the women who have been raped, not molest, not, not harassed, not having some guy come on to them, okay? I mean, come on, Phil. We're guys, and we, for instance, I go out on a, I go out on a first date with somebody. I'm kind of gonna make the move to see if she's interested, right? Yeah, I'm, because, I wouldn't anymore. Yeah, if you don't make the move, then they think you're not interested. Well, I mean, this is kind of normal behavior. And I said, I said to Marjorie tonight. I mean, I said, if Cuomo ran his finger from your belly button to your hip, what would you do? She'd say, enjoy it. <laughs> you know, because she considers Cuomo a pretty good-looking guy. I think that the vast majority of these women, most of them came uh, 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 onto the train after the first couple of women. Well, some of them, because of his position... Well, let me, let me finish. Let me, career. let me finish what I'm saying. Yeah. Let me finish what I'm saying. Uh, I think they all hated um, uh, Mar uh, Andrew Cuomo. And the reason why is... He's supposed to be a terrible, horrid person to work for. Toxic work environment. He, I believe that it was a toxic work environment, but not because of the sexuality. It was a toxic work environment because he was supposedly a bully. You know, if you didn't he do things his way, he yelled at you. Yes, he is a bully. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, he's our bully, so I don't care. But the point I'm making here is that these women all had an ax to grind on some level. Oh, now is my chance to get even with him. I don't think so. I think so. Uh, I think the New York AG found thousands of uh, reports. They interviewed 179 people. They got collaboration. Uh, and these 11 women that came and forward. All these people who collaborated were people primarily who work within the government. Well, who else is he going to rape? Well, who else is he going to piss off? You know, okay. I mean, these all I'm saying, all I'm saying is, Phil, yeah. as and I know you and I know what you believe in and don't believe in. And I'm sure you don't agree with this cancel culture thing that's going. Not at all. And this is all part of the cancel culture. You know, yeah. they were out. The, initially, it was the Republicans who were launching this whole thing because they want they want uh, him out of there so they can have the road clear to maybe put in somebody they want okay kirsten gillibrand your oh, buddy oh i hate her uh, i just who hate the her. other the other scumbag that came out against schumer Cuomo. schumer schumer and uh, a number of others i think the only uh uh even even i think uh biden ha has said the biden uh, said he should <laughs> resign Sorry. yeah you know something fuck them all yeah. Fuck them all. To begin with, I hate Kirsten Gillibrand. Remember what she did to uh, uh, your your uh, other buddy, uh, Al Franken, who did nothing. He did nothing. Okay, but she forced him out of the Senate. You know, I've uh, when uh, for for college radio station, 
we took shots like that, you know, for for publicity. You know, uh, we stood there with. I don't want to rehash the Al Franken thing, but Franken should have never quit. I think you'll even agree with that. I mean, not over what Gillibrand was uh, alleging. Gillibrand is a, can I say it? She's a cunt. All right. There's a way to say it. Uh, A friend of mine used to say she's a real see you next. I say that with the most respect. She's a cunt. All right. Anyway. You know what see you next Tuesday stands for? Yeah, right. But what (laughs) happened is, what happened was that, uh, and then you've got, then you got Schumer, who I don't have, I'm not in love with. And he sees the coast is clear, so he's going to go with, uh, the popular attitude. He's the, it's not that he, he feels that Cuomo should quit, although he probably hates Cuomo too. Cuomo did not make any friends while in office. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, no, he didn't. Would you look lieutenant governor if, uh, if Cuomo resigns or is impeached? I don't even know her goddamn name. It's, it's a woman? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, and for all he's done, you know, I got to tell you, Dave Chappelle said something very interesting. Yeah. He was talking about Bill Cosby and his act. You can go back to, I think, Netflix and see the, the uh, show where he talked about this. And he says, look, what, 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 uh, uh, what uh, Bill Cosby did was terrible. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, you can't sit there and say that it was proper behavior. No. However, you tend to forget all the good things he did. In yeah. other words, like like all the all the money he gave to college, black colleges and universities, all the scholarships he gave kids so they could go to college, he did. He was very big in that kind of philanthropy, right. and he said, you know, you can't forget that. And you, maybe you maybe if he was a terrible person in this way, maybe we have to forgive him a little bit because he was a wonderful person in this way. You remember when, uh, not to get off this Cuomo subject, but yeah. when when uh, Bill Cosby sort of started... By the way, that was Chappelle who said that, not yes, me. I, I understand. Uh, Cuo- uh, not Cuo- uh, Cosby said, uh, and started coming out against black youth and saying that they should be, uh, you know, going to school and they should you know, work harder and do this, and he kind of... Uh, uh, derided the uh, the uh, the youth, the black youth, for uh, yeah, not. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. And they they crucified him. They were not happy with what he was saying. And do you think that any of the that some of this stuff against Cosby was caused by that? No. 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 Cosby was doing this for years. Uh, the only thing that I wonder, you know, I mean, I, and I, it's the same thing with Weinstein. I mean, everybody knew with Weinstein. I knew what he was doing. I'd heard about it. And I, right. who am I? I'm in the low rung of show business, and I knew about it. All right? Yeah. So any woman who was asked to come up to Harvey Weinstein's room was probably told by anybody who knew better, don't do it. Right. And yet they did it. Yeah. And, you know, I I argue that a certain amount, I mean, Weinstein was a sleazebag for the, what he did. But he didn't drug him. You know, he, he didn't he, have to. No, he used his power. Right. It's what he used. And, um, and, that, and that may be what our friend Mr. Cuomo has done. I don't think that. He, but he look at what look at what Weinstein did. He, he okay, covered wait a up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at what Weinstein did. Yeah. And then look at what uh, uh, Cuomo was accused of doing. They're not even equatable. They're not the same thing. Cuomo used his position to retaliate against many of these women that had brought uh, accusations. And uh, he, he, did a, he did a lot to retaliate. You remember a couple of years ago? Hey, let me ask did, you a question, his, Phil. His Phil, daughter's in the same, his daughter's in, in the same situation. In the same situation. Wouldn't you have attempted to retaliate? Uh, no. No, come on. I would, have, I would have got a hold of my attorney, and I would have settled this thing before it went any further. You know? I mean, uh, I, I, back in San Francisco years ago, I was cheating on my wife, but she pretty much knew it. Uh, Susan? Yeah. But you guys yeah. had an open marriage. Yeah, pretty much. But anyway, oh, I had a producer. Yeah. And at one point, that producer was working with me at one of my shows down in Palo Alto, and she walked into the hotel room I was in, 
knocked on the door, walked in, and there was uh, my girlfriend at the time, or the one that I was seeing. Mm-hmm. And uh, then uh, she was supposed to go pick up my wife at the airport, who had been in New York. And on the way back from the airport, she said, I saw Alex with another woman and told wow. the whole story about it to, to, yeah. to, 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 to Susan. So I, she then, Susan then started yelling at me and ultimately I got up and that's the day I moved out of the apartment in Sausalito and moved into my apartment in San Francisco, which I had been using as an office actually. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and um, because of that, I went to the boss of the radio station and said, I want her out of here because I work every day with this woman and I can't trust her. Okay. They told me I couldn't fire her because she was a minority and that all I could do probably was try and make her life miserable and make her leave. <laughs> okay. In today's uh, corporate world, yeah, that's, de- that, that's death. That's an instant lawsuit. Yeah, well, I mean, the fact was that at the time, I mean, wouldn't you try to get rid of somebody if they, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? They, uh, they you, you could trade your trust. They trade my trust. Right. Wouldn't you? Uh, well, yes, but you got to be smart in the way you do it. You tell her, look, you're going to show up, you're going to produce Joe Blow's show from midnight to three. And uh, well, I they, they were there were no other shows for her to produce on the station. I think uh, eventually they got her a job somewhere else at the station. But the point yeah. I'm making is I couldn't have that woman around me any longer. Ah, yeah, you, 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 know? you wouldn't want that. And we don't know what went on between these women and Cuomo and whether he was trying to ruin their careers or not. There, they may have been out the door anyway. Because oh, uh, maybe they, maybe they, you know, they were working well with the with the whole thing. What I'm saying is, is yeah. that I think a lot of these women are complaining about their being out on their ear. They're blaming it on Cuomo and on the situation. Well, with Cuomo. To the New York AG, there uh, was to, retaliation. You want, talk about, you want me to talk about about tolerance on his part? Sure. He has a. Uh, a, a the, they call her the executive administrator to the governor, uh, Melissa. Yeah. I'm trying to remember her name now. And uh, I want that he kissed her. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. He didn't do anything. He, she's been with him as long as I've seen him on there. He, Melissa DeRosa is her name. And she is the one that accidentally leaked the fact that they had some problems with the nursing homes. You remember that whole flap with him? Yes, yes. Which eventually the, the AG of the United States said, no, he didn't do anything. You know, that's, he didn't do anything wrong. But They're anyway, not prosecute. anyway, she was the one that accidentally slipped it out. Yeah. You would have thought that if, if Cuomo were as you say he is, she would have been out the door the next day. He's he's got so much coming she's down. She's still on there, the by the way. Months. No, no, he's he's got other other fish to fry, and he's had so much come down on him in the last six or eight months with these other accusations that the last thing he needed was uh, to go against this woman. You remember uh, uh, his daughter was dating uh, a, a cop that uh, or a trooper, and and he yeah. sent them to the border of Canada in the middle of the oh, tundra. Yeah. No, but he admitted to that. <laughs> he admitted to that. He said, "I never liked the guy." You know. So let me ask you something. In fact, something. he on the air when he was doing just this whole thing about COVID and everything, he would take time out to say uh, the boyfriend. Oh yeah, the boyfriend this and the boyfriend that. It got very funny. And then all let of a sudden, he wasn't this. talking about the boyfriend anymore. Look, look at this. We're both old enough that the girls that Cuomo was fooling around with could be our daughters. You're would saying you he go- was fooling around with them. He. Was I would say with, if there were eleven of them, with ten yeah, of them, more. with ten no, but no, he's if there are eleven of them, I'd say nine of them were flirtations, nothing more, nothing less. If that was my daughter, I would not this be happy. This one woman who runs around there crying and moaning, you know, I was a I was a, a rape survivor, and then he asked me, well, how do you feel about that? And then he tried to say to me. You know, various things about questioning. Like old men? 
<laughs> well, well, about old men, or how he, she felt about certain things and so on, and old guys and so on. And it wasn't that he was trying to come on to her. What I got from what he said to her was he was concerned. He oh, was con yeah, no, no, real no, concerned. No, no, wait a minute, stop it. Yeah. You know, I mean, you got to remember, everything mm -hmm. they're doing to Cuomo right now is something that you, as a conservative, probably feel is wrong. Well, only when they did it to Trump. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. What I'm saying is, I think... I, 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 I got to say one other thing. All I'm because, saying is none of these charges against him even yeah. come close to rape. and and uh, they But they yet they put them on the same yeah. level with oh, rape. Huh? It, 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 it's it's, in a, it's un, unprofessional in a workplace. Listen, the, he may as well... Hey, he, 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 may, he, he may as well have raped them... Uh, no. uh, he may as well have uh, forced himself on every single one of them because he's being judged in that way on much less. If, if okay. he raped them, he'd be in cuffs. But I, there's he another. He may still be in cuffs. There's another thing they're, they're talking about that. Oh, yeah, I know. The uh, Albany in, in Albany, uh, they're talking about criminal charges. Yeah. Uh, now, you know, you had some people on the show that had COVID. Mm hmm. And do you know that people that are recovering from COVID have had a substantial drop in intelligence? Well, those people who voted for uh, Trump also have had a substantial what, drop in what intelligence. What about Tony? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so, anyway. No, but you're uh, changing the subject here. Yeah, I, I want to, you know, I mean, it's getting to that hour, the witching hour, but I want to know, you know, why are the police officers who responded? Fucking, to nobody else is calling. You and I just may as well oh, keep going I, on. You can talk about other subjects. I got stuff. No, no. But uh, all I'm saying, uh, Phil, Phil, all I'm saying is here's my stand on, on, yeah. on uh, Cuomo. Mm -hmm. He did bad. He should be admonished. Okay. He should, there should be some kind of like, uh, uh, thing where they say bad boy okay resign but what he did didn't come to the level that they're making it out to be and that no. you know I think he's done very well by this state and I think that this is mostly a plot on the part of those who don't like him to get rid of him okay well, that's what he says well I agree with that notion I'm not yeah. saying that what he did was right in all cases, but he certainly didn't do anything that was so terrible that it rose above, in most cases, basic flirtation. If you believe that he went under the shirt and grabbed the woman's breast, okay, I'll give you that one, okay? But that's not even rape. That's fondling. That's aggressive fondling. Yeah, but in I mean, how many times did you go out on a date and you're sitting there in the car and you start kissing and your hand goes up the woman's blouse and you grab her breast. Uh, as often as I could. As often <laughs> as you could. And that was but, all part of the, of what we would call the... Uh, the uh, mating the, the, ritual. The mating dance. Hey, but okay. the thing is, I, I didn't do it in the workplace. And what I don't like... What, and I didn't do it to an employee. Hey... A lot of things when you don't do it in the workplace because now you don't do it in the workplace but there didn't were years cuomo ago where you did it in the workplace i understand but didn't cuomo know that hmm? didn't he know that you know why well, would cuomo, he look cuomo is an italian male i know plenty of italian males that don't stick their hands up other women and i know a lot of italian males that do okay well, you know, Tony doesn't. Huh? Tony never did that. Tony never did that. Yeah, well, Tony never did anything, I don't think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, um, uh, I, I want to know why you, why, uh, and what your take is on why four police officers now have committed suicide since January 6th. These were police officers, capital police officers yeah. that responded to the uh, to the peaceful protest. The peaceful uh, oh, <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. You mean that little happy fizzies party they had at the, you know? Yeah, yeah. They, they were just expressing. some people brought cake. Some yeah, people they were just expressing their their, you know, it was a uh, dress up contest. Didn't you see the guy with the horns? Oh, yeah, it was. A, yeah. It was a co it was cosplay. It was a costume party. It's called cosplay. 
Yeah. So right. why are these guys killing themselves? That seems like an awful lot that of guys. That really seems interesting. That's an interesting statistic. And, and why it's happened, who knows? Who knows? You know, um, it's eight. That means one every two months. Huh? One, it's just August. I mean, that's one every two months. Yeah, that's, it's pretty pretty sad. Well, it looks like I have some people who have called here. Oh, that's nice. Do you want to stick on and talk to them, or do you want to go? I I, I got to get up early. But, um, uh, you know, one thing I did want to ask you mm -hmm. before you get off, mm -hmm. I'm having to reboot my uh, router like every 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you update the firmware? I don't know. I don't have your router. Oh, it's a, it's a net whatever it is uh is it one you bought that, yeah it's not one supplied by the cable company no uh, well then i would look at the brand and then i would go to their site and i would go look for uh, up, updates all right yep see i mean Sounds like good. i i have like verizon here so they're updating this thing all the time without me knowing it in the middle of the night and stuff like that you know? maybe i ought to pay to five dollars a month and get rid of this well you know, you know whatever Anyway, I will I will see you uh, when I see you. Okay, all right. I see you next Tuesday, yeah. and you know what that stands for. I know, I know. It stands for Kirsten Gillibrand. That's what it, <laughs> what it stands for. I'm sorry that we can't even agree on this because you hate Cuomo. So, well, yeah, you know, I, I was hoping for uh, once I, we would be in the I, same I, wheelhouse. Kirsten Actually, I like I like the way she look. I she's attractive. Uh, she, I think she's she's attractive. not attractive. She's skanky. That's my type. I like that blonde Shiksa goddess type. Yeah. You know, she's a Shiksa goddess. She used well, to be, not anymore. Age, Have you seen age, her? At, at, yeah, at my age, that's a Shiksa goddess. Yeah. You know, when I was twenty, it was a different story. Yeah. But yeah. you know, it was Catherine Deneuve that was the Shiksa goddess. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye, bye, ladies and gentlemen. There goes our boy. Well, that was fast. How did that happen? Let me see here. I, I I I was here, and then I went like this, and it just it just oh well. What the hell? Hi, how are you? Anyway, uh, let me see. Uh, I guess we'll go to the we'll go to the callers, huh? I guess that'll be what we what we do. All right. So let me admit them all. And uh, there we go. There's uh, there's uh, there. Oh, Vernon. Hi there, Vernon. Good to see you. Uh, Jeff, good to see you. Good to see you, John. Hello, Alan. Uh, Hello. And uh, anyway, uh, Vernon, have you got something to say about what's been going on today? Well, uh, I found out that uh, Home Depot is reinstituting mask requirements for all employees oh really excuse me if i'm doing this folks with my Makes eyes sense. tonight here you know so they're reinstituting masks for all employees and the, i asked uh when the manager told me that on sunday i asked about customers and they said well we will encourage customers to wear masks well, that's, but if they that's if they tell you to go fuck yourself you say have a nice day that's bullshit you know that's really bullshit because uh, I got to tell you, uh, you know, they should do it to the customers, too, you know. And uh, I think it's important that all the customers be masked or, you know, all they got to do is like show a vaccination card at the door. Uh, that's what's happening here in New York, you know, as of uh, September 23rd or something like that. I think that's the date that they already uh, they already did. Um, and why they're doing it that late, I don't know. It should be done tomorrow, right? Uh, they uh, have said that anybody who goes into a restaurant or a gym uh, has to have uh, proof that they're vaccinated. Otherwise, they just can't get in. Forget it. Not even wearing a mask. You can't get in. And I think that's terrific because that will force people to go out and get the vaccination. That's why I took a picture of my vaccination card and I've got it on my phone if somebody wants to see it. I, that's what I, I had it on mm -hmm. my phone. And my doctor, who had to have proof of it, uh, uh, had me just emailed <clears throat> it to themselves so they have it on file. You know. So in, so, in the Bay Area right now, uh, as of 
today or yesterday, everybody that goes into stores or businesses in the Bay Area has to wear a mask, employees and customers. Well, what they should say is uh, you can go in without a mask if you've had the vaccination, but you can't come in if you haven't had the vaccination. Now, so, so the reasoning behind it that they're giving is that the science says that people that are fully vaccinated are very well protected, but if they get an asymptomatic case, they have as much of the uh, virus in their nose as somebody that's unvaccinated and yeah. can pass it on yeah, yeah. to unvaccinated yeah. people. And that's case. what they're saying on Tuesday. Yeah, tomorrow. You know, what tomorrow you they'll change the whole story again. Science no. changes all the time. No, but science doesn't change. That's going to be too. Really New bad, data happens all the time. A real bad excuse for the CDC not knowing what they're talking about because they don't know. Okay. okay. I mean, we all took these vaccinations and we were told you got the vaccination, you're good to go. Now, in the last week, what is it? I had one two i think three people that I, I either know or have come into contact with or not personally come into contact with but know of mm -hmm. who have had their vaccinations and came down with covid okay period um, and that's a surprise it is enough of a surprise that you know i should not know three or four people yeah, i should sure. only know one maybe you know, well, this is just a little. Popular. This is just a little too coincidental. Well, you know, the early on, had we not had the Delta variant not taken over here, um, we would have never been wearing okay, masks. Okay, so let's blame all the people that didn't get vaccinated. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Jeff. Absolutely. Yes, Jeff. Mm -hmm. absolutely. What's uh, the the three that you know about? What, uh, what's their age? Well, uh, one of them is, uh, is the lawyer for the landlords here. Yeah. We had to cancel a settlement meeting because he came down with COVID Sorry. and he had been vaccinated. I heard. How about, old do you think he was? Is, I think he's maybe in, his, maybe in his early 60s, I'd say. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Who, who were the other two? I, 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 my mind's kind of foggy mm. today. Um, uh, 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 who did I come down with the, the other day that somebody came down with it and I had to say wow you know I mean the lawyer. I've had, uh, the, well the lawyer I said but then also um, uh, I'm trying to think of the other two but there were two more the, mm -hmm. and I felt far too coincidental oh uh, Shecky had somebody that he knew that uh, came down with it uh, and had been vaccinated Ooh. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to think. There was one more that came up mm. as a as a as a per, and as an example of this. Uh, it's too much for me mm. to know about. Yeah, I should maybe hear about one, maybe. You know. Well, you got to you got to look at statistics, though, Alex. According to a pulmonologist <clears throat> who was on Rachel Maddow's show tonight with uh, Nicole Wallace, sitting in the chair, says that according to statistics that he has seen and he's a pulmonologist yeah only one tenth of one percent of everybody who's been vaccinated has come down with breakthrough infection and and that's good uh and that's a great statistic but the in C my wheelhouse it, in my, my wheelhouse uh, three people came down with it, and that's a far higher statistic. I mean, now it's a far higher statistic. But then, how many people do you know that have been vaccinated? How how much do you think the CDC is passing out this information to justify what they've said in the past? Who knows? I think they're lying. Mm. I think they're lying. I think the figures are much higher. I don't say that they're getting really sick. I don't mm -hmm. think they're getting sick enough to go to a hospital. You know, like this lawyer that, uh, in my case, uh, was just simply feeling really like crap, as he put it, and he couldn't. Yeah, like Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham, I'm, another another case, okay, of somebody been vaccinated, you know. All these people are older. And they're he's... older, but th is, is that the excuse here? I mean, well, we were given the impression that if we all went out and got these shots, 
that life would be good. It hasn't been. You know, it. Uh, I, I, I'm back they, staying in. But they never. But they never said it was 100 percent effective. That's no, right. they I never know, did. But, and they said That's it was 95 right. percent effective with the original virus, not with the Delta variant. Right. How well, how many people have been vaccinated? Is it like 70 162 million? 162 million, and you got three or four people that we can talk about it that, you know, that got sick. And like less, you know, it's what it's zero point zero one people that have, amount of people that have actually been hospitalized. So it's you know. Well, those are the statistics we're getting. We I don't yeah. know that that's true. I mean, I'm not saying that the vaccine doesn't work uh, to a large extent, but I mean, we have been past so much lousy information. Mm -hmm. I I don't go. I'm not going outdoors now. Basically, I'm taking my walk, and that's about it. But I don't want to take the chance because uh, hell knows, you know. Oh, you're not going to come visit my house anymore? Not yet. Not <laughs> this year. You know, I'm not getting back on the subway, I'll tell you that. <laughs> right. You're right about that. Alex, can I say something here? Yeah, go ahead. I was thinking about the vaccine, too. And, the you know, when it, before it came out, and this is something now that I don't like about it. When you get a vaccine, say for chicken pox, I can't pass it on to somebody else. This vaccine is not working that way. We can be vaccinated and still pass it on. So actually, they really have not perfected, quote unquote, the vaccine. Because when you get a vaccine for measles, I can't pass it on yeah, to you. I, if, it's not a I, flu shot though, Tony. This is, this is more like a flu. Yeah, if you, you get a flu shot, saying, you can still pass the flu on to someone else. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, though, this is more deadly than the flu. And how many people really just are not getting tested by, now? By the so way, we don't know how many breakthrough cases there really are either, because people are just not getting tested. Uh, we've just been joined oh. by Robert Natale. Hi, Robert. Guys, how are you? Yeah, hey, Robert. Hey. Uh, undoubtedly, we were saying something that. Well, I called to 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 announce an, a momentous occasion. Wow. Um, I actually spent more time in the first half hour agreeing with Phil than I did with you. <laughs> so, and so I thought this definitely occasions me calling and, and asking, what is that drug you take, gabapentin, and does it have any effect on your ability to reason? Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is yes and yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you're talking about the whole discussion about Cuomo. Of yes. course. Which you and I were going back and forth with. On yes. So messages. let's go back to that. You put up a post on Facebook and you said, and I'm, I'm doing this lovingly. You put up a post on Facebook where you said, has anybody else watching the lynch mob? Okay. So I had MSNBC on from 10 in the morning mm -hmm. till six at night. Oh, and wow. I'll give you an example. Well, they're Nicole always a lynch. Wallace from they're always six. What? Did Cuomo for about seven minutes? Oh no, not what I saw. Oh yes, because oh. she broke away to put the president on, and then when the president came off, they immediately talked about COVID vaccination. Yeah, but did you look at the panel? So did you on. look at the panel? Woman, 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 guy. Yeah, all right, but wait a minute. Wait, why the, is it that and the guy, guy was a pussy? I'm a guy, and I think Cuomo should resign. I don't think he should. Well, good for you. You know but why? why because is it you're because attacking because, because, people for reporting the news. All they did, they never said. Look, uh, to begin lead with, Bob, story is they didn't say today's lead story is Cuomo should resign. Bob, they merely announced. Bob, I watched them and they were sitting there just nobody. They didn't bring anybody on and went, well, maybe we're being a little too abrupt on this thing. My feeling is the only person so, that feels that is you. No, I'm not the only person. Look, I feel this way because Alex, number one, minute, you're the finish. person who thinks Louis C.K. taking out his cock was fine. No, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. You said no, he asked no. permission. He asked permission. Yeah, right. All right, so that makes it okay. He, yes. Oh, my God. He gave them the opportunity to You've leave. You've got to be fucking kidding me. He gave them the opportunity to leave the room before he did it. And you see nothing wrong with that. So if I, I come I to your house. I see something wrong with the women that stayed. So if I come to your house. 
Yeah. And I say to Marjorie, Marjorie, would you mind if I take out my cock? And she's so blown away that she doesn't respond. That makes it okay. There's a difference. This is our home. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and you're not allowed to do that in our home. Oh. Now, I, Alex, I, I really would love during, to have during you over President some Biden, I During, really President, Biden's, I during really... President Biden's news conference, he was asked point blank, back in March, you said if this investigation mm -hmm. came to fruition, mm -hmm. that, that you would support Cuomo, Cuomo resigning. Now that it has come out and what you've read, do you now support that? And he said yes. Alex, how about this? How about this? Mm. You're talking about it and comparing it to rape. No, no, what? Bar? No, 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 not. Is I'm that not, your no, bar? He, that's not really? what I, no, that's not what I was saying. What I was saying is we diminish rape by making no, a big deal don't. out of this. No, and, we and, don't. And, and, and penalizing it as badly as if he raped somebody. No, we don't. No, we don't. Any more than if I smack you across the face. You can't say I mean, that it diminishes women, women who have the been guy raped. next door who got shot and killed. It, it's still wrong. Rape is egregious. And, and any, nobody any, mentioned any, rape. Any, anyone, you did. I'm saying that we have equated this with rape. No, we have According who, who, who to these that, people, Alex? in the, the mind of these people, they think that Andrew Cuomo's actions are as bad as Harvey Weinstein. Who said that? Who said that? Nobody said that directly. Who said it? But they are playing it up. Because they no, want to that's penalize your, him. That, they that's they your literally want to penalize him in the same way. Alex, let's look at it this way. We're not sending this man to jail yet. We're not convicting him of any criminal wrongdoing. Here's what we are saying, or at least here's what I'm we're saying. We're saying get out of office because we're not going to try you, but you're guilty. No, let me that's finish. That's what we're saying. Let me finish. When a man is elected or a woman is elected, he's being given the public trust. Mm -hmm. And if you abuse the public trust, you've got to go. What public trust? Are bullying you in your employees. I exactly. agree. Exactly. You've got to go. Nobody's putting you in jail. Look. Nobody's putting you behind bars. All we're saying is you were handed the public trust hey listen and you uh, if you were to say that if, trust, if, if you were goodbye. to say this man acted in a stupid and capricious manner i would say yes you know i mean he should have known better all right but you don't think grabbing a woman's breast was a comp was a capricious and powerful act on his part well you know we don't know the full story yet you uh, know. i understand that but here's yeah. what we but have the to does. On. What no, the New York AG does is the testimony what kind of eleven of, women. Well, what kind of acts did the AG have to grind? She supposedly doesn't like Cuomo. I can't believe you're defending this. I I'm, really I'm only defending it to this extent, Bob. I am sick and tired of the way no, men are you're defending wait, let me finish it because let me finish you always I'm take sick the and male tired. part. I take the male part because nobody else does anymore. Oh Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Since time began, people have been taking the male part. Since time began, women have complained of being raped and they were, they were pushed aside. Look. And they were told, what did you do to bring this on yourself? They've been taking the male side since fucking Adam and Eve. <laughs> Come on, they don't need you as a lawyer. And by the way, you're a shitty lawyer. <laughs> not a lawyer. Come on, Alex. Look, Louis no. C.K. taking out his cock. When you said that was okay because he asked I didn't permission, say it was okay. I, I realized said, that I you said, were somehow on no, another All I'm planet. saying is, look, you got to take this in balance, okay? Oh. What? Is, is, is Cuomo as bad as Bill Cosby? What? Why does that have anything to do with this? It has a lot to do with no, it. No, it doesn't. Because what we're doing is we've so lowered the bar on what no, this it is doesn't. that we don't put everything in perspective. You've got Bill Cosby having a set of, in, of individual wrongdoings for which he was convicted and found guilty. I know about the overturn and all like this. Let's not get into that no, rabbit no. hole. Here what we have is a person of power, in power, trusted by the public, who misused mm -hmm. how, how, his position. It, okay, first of all, the public—he didn't—he didn't—he didn't do a mistrust of the public. He—he he 
in his own running of his office, acted in a rather terrible manner. Alex, if he did it at a bar, a woman would throw a drink in his face. But because he's the governor and their employer, they're in a position where they have to think twice before they respond. Look, because this I, listen, man holds I, I, it, power it, it, over it's them. It's not that I don't think that he didn't come on to women, okay? That then that's then that's enough. Well, I've come on to women in my life. You're Everybody on this panel, governor, perhaps except you're for Tony, not the has come fucking on to governor of New York. Oh, you mean You're if I'm the governor of New York, of I can't, power. and I'm single, I'm not married, I can't come on to women. Yes, you can. You're not hearing me. I yes, he, you he, can. And if a woman feels you're inappropriate, she'll deal with you. You're talking about a situation where this is my, I'm taking the part of the woman. This is my employer. If I come back at this man, I could suffer terribly. What the worst so now part what was of what I heard today, and I didn't hear all of it, okay, but what I heard today was that these women went to Melissa DeRosa, as an example, and said, ah. I'm having problems with the governor. Uh, can, I, can you do something about it? And DeRosa completely dismissed it. And the people ah, around but did you him also read it. that at M Melissa DeRosa's wedding, Cuomo was physically inappropriate with her, and she was the fucking bride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an Italian male for you, uh, <laughs> right, Tony, Tony? Tony, stand up for me, Tony. Uh, hey, my my family wedding. So I'll never forget it, Alex. This is totally off the subject. Yeah, it was my cousin Caroline who used to listen to you in the seventies. Her, her father-in-law thought he was Frank Sinatra at one wedding at Dante's. He started singing. They wanted to kill the guy. He was horrible. But the guineas are crazy anyway. All they do is drink and they do chase. My Uncle Tommy had girlfriends all over the place. Well, funny you should mention yeah. it. Uh, tell me the what... amazing Dante Dante, he called himself. Tell he me, was horrible. I'm going to play, play something yeah. here. Tell me what you think of, the, think of this singer here. Yeah. Um, you're nobody till somebody loves you. Get out the hook. You're nobody till somebody cares. You might be king, you might possess the world and all its gold. That but guy should sing solo. Solo, nobody can hear him. When you're growing old. The world's still the same, you'll never change it. As long as the stars shine above. Why well, nobody is somebody. So find yourself somebody. Not just anybody. Find yourself somebody. Thank you. Okay. You should you should sing by the window so we can all help you out. How old is that, <laughs> Alex? How old is that? Uh, that is uh, that was I think in Miami in uh, 1980 or something like that. Might have been the amazing. Uh, no wonder you hated Florida. <laughs> yeah, no wonder Florida hated me. Uh, I don't know. But here's a question though on Cuomo though. I do think he was guilty, but I mean, Look, should should he should we hear the whole thing out? Let him have his day. I mean, take him to court, do whatever well, they got to do. All I'm saying, and 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 play and, out. and Bob doesn't agree with me on this, is that it's all a matter, a question of balance. You have to, if you're going to start making all these charges against people, you can't give the same weight to Mario Cuomo that you give the Harvey Weinstein. And we are. Can I ask you a question, and we Alex, are. Too? You can't give the same weight to uh, a Louis C.K. that you give to, uh, uh, you know, uh, what's his name who was on the thing about the president isn't of the it, United States. Isn't it, you, isn't it you that always barks at Phil for what aboutism? This isn't what aboutism. What yes, I'm saying is. is you're you're putting all these things. You're taking all these things that have different levels of bad taste. No, I'm not. You and, are. And you're equating them with each other and no, I'm make, not. giving them you, equal you weight. Are. 
No, but you Cuomo's are. giving equal weight to Harvey I'm gonna Weinstein. Repeat, I'm going to repeat myself because apparently you're not hearing this me. This isn't what about is I didn't throw him behind bars. Huh? I didn't prosecute him. Mm -hmm. But here's what I am saying. Yeah, He's you. lost the public confidence. Now, that is another Move story. On. That's another question altogether. Move on. That's all I've said. Mm -hmm. I never said he should be behind Now, who bars. has helped make him lose the public trust? How about Kirsten Gillibrand, the bitch? Mm -hmm. uh, how about, how about, uh, well, I hate her. I just hate her. No, I, hate you what like she, I hate what she did to Al Franken. She, she, yeah, okay? she, you're right, but she bullied him, I thought. Yeah. So did I, frankly, but that's a yeah. different situation. Yeah. I never I never could stand Schumer, but now I hate him. Alex, he was in New York, Shaq, he said. Alex, Al Franken wasn't using the power of any office when those pictures were taken. I know. <laughs> okay, he was a comedian at the time. Mario, I mean, Andrew, I'm doing what you do. I know. Andrew Cuomo was in a position of power. You're diminishing the importance of that. I, when you're in a position of power, it changes. If I become the boss in an office, it's up to me to create you a know something? safe Here, Here's where I think it was wrong. For both genders. Here, here's where I think it really went bad. For mm. all these people around him, that were either so afraid of him that they wouldn't do anything, but they knew about it, they were told about it, and nothing was done about it. And nobody went to the governor and said, you know, you better stop doing this because this is not good. You know, nobody had the nerve to do it. But we're not there. We're here now. Yeah. And right now, he's lost the trust and confidence he hasn't lost of the, He hasn't his lost my trust. What trust? What trust do I have to give him? I, my trust is that he balances the money. Here's what, here's what my governor official. has to do. My governor, You're entrusting you know, him I'm the not, power I'm, I'm not, to do whatever. I'm not whatever. entrusting him not to pat a woman on the ass. What I'm entrusting him with is to balance the budget, make sure I don't get COVID, uh, so make sure the schools is, don't go broke. Take so care what of, you're saying yeah. is that it was okay for Trump to grab women by the pussy. You can't have it both uh, ways. He, uh, Trump never never actually grabbed anybody by the pussy. He well, said not according he, to 19 no, women. Uh, well, he said he could. Uh, yeah, all right, but not according to 19 women who came well, forward. Well, I'm going to give I'm going to give uh, uh, Trump the sh benefit of the doubt here that if it was 19 women, there were only nine who actually got their pussy pussy grabbed. You know, Alex, I think part of it is you never had a sister and you never had a daughter. Can I ask you a question? You know, I heard this thing today. We must believe women when they make assertions. That's true. You have to listen to them and you have to take them for what they are. But you can't outweigh the man's uh, rights to just suddenly throw everything about. Well, she just said she was she was she was groped by Alex Bennett, and now I got to sit there oh. and spend the rest of my life trying to defend it. My and microphone she, mustn't be working. I'm going to try this again. We're not putting him in jail. God damn it. What we're saying is he was entrusted with power and he abused that power. So say 11 women and the investigative committee. They've come to the conclusion that those women were believable. That's enough. Step aside. Nobody's putting you behind bars or putting you in an orange suit. You've lost the confidence of your constituency. Step aside. That's all. Nobody's saying put the guy in shackles. This guy can't. Helen, you're a cop. Help me out was here. It, What's it, wrong is wrong. I agree with I agree with you, Robert. Okay. What's wrong I, is wrong. I, I one of the guys. One you, of the Robert. guys today. One of the people today, uh, uh -huh. who was at that conference, was named Kim, I believe. Yes. Wasn't he involved in running for mayor of New York? I don't think because so. I think that there was a Kim who was running for mayor of New York. That, Not uh, to my knowledge, yeah. there's a Yang, but I no, don't remember no, no, no. There was a Andrew Kim, Yang. There were, or there was yeah. a Kim that came out against somebody so, in the mayor. So here's race, what you're saying. Like what yeah. you're saying is this is all a conspiracy. Boy, you sound more like Phil used to about Trump than Phil no, used I'm not to saying sound. It's a conspiracy. Eleven women all conspired. This guy, Kim, is on the take. The mm -hmm. AG is crooked. 
and somehow Kristen Gillibrand came into the mix. I don't I don't know how. Because you know, like all this was a conspiracy against Cuomo. Come on, I'm not saying that. What I am saying is, I don't believe every single woman. It doesn't take all of them. If one person says it, it's inappropriate. But but, okay, but Alex, he even admitted, he even himself admitted that some of his actions were. and, And what else did he say? He said they weren't correct, and if I understood that they would be interpreted in this way and that way, well, what the fuck else do you expect him to say? He's not going to say I grabbed the ass, but I I think it's okay. Wait a minute. I heard him apologize. That makes it okay? Well, it's... I'm uh, sorry I raped you. Yeah, I Uh, smacked you you in the mouth, but Wait a minute. You see, listen to you, uh, uh, Alan. Uh, uh, See, I'm sorry I raped you. All of a sudden, it goes to rape. This wasn't rape. It wasn't even close to rape. It wasn't you even close made to it rape. that way. Nobody today on no, MSNBC he just for did. eight hours used the word Alan rape. Alan just did. So Alan's not on MSNBC. He's not on the investigative committee. In fact, he's no longer a cop, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Alex, the only person that used the comparison to rape today was you. I was saying that we equate it. No, you equate it. No, no. One of it, no, none of us do. Well, I mean, they, they want him to resign. Yep. For what? For inappropriate behavior. For creating a workplace Wait a with minute. an You're atmosphere tell me where the... women felt intimidated. Hostile work that's, environment. That's enough. I, I would say, if you want to say hostile work environment, then let's talk about why it was truly hostile. And that is because he is a bully. He's no fun to work for. He's the kind of guy that if he were your boss, you'd want to quit the job immediately. Because so, he's, always, he's always had a, a, that reputation. So Alex, let's turn this around just a half turn. So because a lot of people don't like Cuomo, say I'm Cuomo. A lot of people don't like me because I'm a bully or because I'm hard to work with. Okay, so now I sit home one night and realize cool i got it i got a whole pass i can grab whoever i want and i can say well you never liked me anyway you know come on do you really think he thought that yes yes i think with his power he thought he could do a or do you B&C think that he was brought and up and nobody he, would go back he was him. brought up as an italian male i'm an italian oh. male what's that got to do with it <laughs> about like John Gotti and by now, the way, now Como now Como is the Teflon Alex, my uncle Tommy was, on. you know I can tell you one thing my uncle Tommy he was a womanizer like he would have all these girlfriends when my mother's girlfriend's husband passed away he was he called himself Jaws blood in the water he said my mother's like don't let him near her because he was like that he'd come down with the button the shirt done he was crazy so but some of these guys are like that but Tony I was wrong right Tommy okay so <laughs> Yeah, and says, you know what happened to me at the end of the movie? They killed the shock. He laughed. They all right. All right. He was crazy. Yeah. Well, he was I, crazy. You know, I mean, I just, uh, uh, all I know is that I'm, I'm a little afraid because I'm sure he's probably going to wind up resigning. Okay. Oh, I, I hope I, so. I, okay. And I don't hope so because I don't want that, a, that uh, lieutenant governor who nobody's ever heard of. I can't, if I were to walk out on the street and say, who's the okay. lieutenant governor? Nobody knows who she is. Kathy so Hochul. Here, so here again, he gets a hall pass because you don't like the person no, who no, would no, succeed no, him. No, no, I'm worried. So he's I'm able worried, to grab ass I'm and it's okay. I'm worried that she's not going to be as effective at taking care of this COVID crisis. That's already, that's already happened, Alex. He's a, he's a wounded duck. Yeah, I think he's cooked. He's gonna Politically, have to, you know. he's through. Hmm. Biden asked him to resign too. And I, yeah, I think uh, should uh, oh, somebody just said here should Biden uh, step down for smelling the head of a woman? He did. Phil thinks he did too. Remember all those pictures well, he was he sending did. me. He did. Why is that wrong? Yeah, what? I, well, what's wrong with I, touching a woman's belly button and moving your finger over to her hip? He has no business putting his hands on the woman. That's Here right. He, Maybe they came on to. And by the way, in answer to something you asked Phil, 
I never once put my hand up a woman's blouse unless we were in the throes of whatever and I knew there was mutual consent. Not once. Well, no, that was the point at which you found out whether you were going to score or not score. You did that as the test, the litmus test, as to no. whether whether she no. was interested no, not or me. not. Not me either. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. <laughs> I don't know. What, I, I, we lived in different yeah. worlds. Well, I, I wouldn't do, do it until I was sure that it wouldn't be. Re re All right. But, well, in, yeah. in, well, but in Cuomo's case, he wasn't given any assurance that it was OK. In fact, he was know? told that it wasn't OK. How do exactly. You know? How do you know? He seemed to have the impression it was OK. Well, well, of course he's, he's going to say that. <laughs> See, I mean, look, you, look, look, you look. called it aggressive fondling. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, when you were talking to Phil, I mean, come on. Yeah, hey, that's a euphemism. Is, in most cases, this this didn't even arise, rise to the point of fondling, okay? Only in a couple of the cases. You know, the rest Alex, of them were... Alex, if you had a sister or a daughter, you'd see this differently. No, no, the rest of them were, he came on to me, verbally. Verbal. So, okay. in a workplace where he's the boss... Okay. That's wrong. Fine. Then step aside. Okay. Was Nobody's it, putting wait a minute, in shackles. Was it, wait a minute. Step was, it, aside. was it wrong a year ago? Step aside now. Was it's it come wrong? to light. The was investigation has findings. Was it thought to be wrong four years ago? Yes. Really? Yes. As we go back further, it gets less and less, it gets hazy there because. Alex, perhaps that's so, but at one point in our history, slavery was okay. You know, like things change. You've got to change with the so, time. So because, and because frankly, slavery is because thank God like, things are changing. Slavery, you know, thank God well, a woman can come changed, forward do we, now. Do we deny that George Washington was the first president of the United States? Or, that, that? or that Jefferson was the president of the United States? Do we deny that? What? Because these people were slaveholders. You brought right, that up yes. about slavery. And at the time, they didn't understand it the same way we do now. Because Things mores change. change. Mm. Mores you know, change. And but, thank God. But, but thank God back, that slavery what, changed. Was, and thank God that women who've been abused can hey, now listen, come forward. I have never been accused in my life, and I was a public personality, of ever abusing a single woman. You know? Okay, so... And, and I don't think I anybody could really claim that outside of maybe some crazy woman who th wanted to claim that I did, you know. But then again, I had a, 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 a father of a young girl call me up and say, you got my daughter pregnant. I said, what? And he said, you got my daughter pregnant. I said, what do you mean? Who's your daughter? And he named her. I said, I, I don't know her. And it turns out that no, I hadn't gotten her pregnant. When she got pregnant, and he said, who's the father? The first name she came up with was the guy she listened to on the radio every morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's like yelling at you. So, she, finally so admit, she finally admitted to it that it was another person. Okay, so here's what you've done. You've created one anecdotal incident, and you've now made it such that any woman that comes forward from that point forward is not to be believed. You know, come on. And that's one incident. I'll give you the counterbalance. One of my dearest friends, who's mm -hmm. now a psychologist, mm -hmm. was date raped when she was 19. She, at the time, was petrified about coming forward. Right. Her parents blamed her for the incident oh, and sent her away to have the child that she bore out of this rape. She spent 20 years in therapy trying to get past the guilt because she'd been told that she did something wrong. Do we really want to go back there? No, I'm not. I mean, I'm not saying we're going back there. You know, You're coming I do think. Close. Look, I, I think Weinstein got what was coming to him. I think Bill Cosby got what was coming to him. I think that all these people who have done these terribly egregious things. Uh, should be called to account for their actions. All right, I so just Alex don't did, feel that Cuomo's actions are on that same level. That's all I'm they saying. They don't have to be. They don't have to be, Alex. Create the scale for me, please. 
Am I allowed tomorrow, I'm a married man, am I allowed tomorrow to go out and fondle some tit? You know, am I allowed to touch the woman, a woman's ass on the way by? Am I allowed to wolf whistle at her? You're going to have to draw me a scale of what's inappropriate. No longer, but are you allowed to be accused of something you didn't do? Oh, Alex, come on. It's a foregone And then have, have, the, have the preponderance of the truth be put on the woman rather than on the truth. Eleven women and an investigative committee who, by the way, had him under oath for 11 hours and reached the conclusion they did. Where there's smoke, there might be fire. Listen, I'm not saying that he isn't then just step aside. You've lost the confidence what, what, of your constituency. Well, I think maybe step aside. You can't Maybe do I'll step aside. Things. Maybe I just lost the confidence of my constituency. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. I love you, Alex. I love you just the same. But on this, you're dead wrong, bro. You're so old. You're so old fucking world. It's almost no, I'm funny. I'm not old world. I am just sick and tired <sighs> of guys being portrayed as evil We're, yeah because, we have our, yeah we you're now right have, there's a new story. you're right there's a because new... the history of mankind oh, no. shows that men have always been the sex that's been taken advantage of. well i'll Come tell you on. i'll tell you i'll tell you can uh, i say one thing uh, what on ck you always say you that? always say can i tell oh, you one on. thing Let's not go back and then you keep again. coming back saying <laughs> other things so i assume you don't have just one thing to say. No, but I was going to say, like on Louis C.K., when they said, he, he said, can I whip out my pee-pee? Now, all they had to do was say no. No? Was that so hard? Well, that's what I'm saying. Should they, should they have to answer, though, Tom? I guess if they're in his room and he's that crazy and they're there, I don't know the circumstances of what's going on. They could be doing drugs, drinking. Who knows? That's true. Know, that's if, true. You don't know the relationship. I don't know the whole situation. Yeah, no, neither do I. But it's somebody Two that women in a comedian's room. I mean, all next thing I'm thinking, do. he's having his way with both all of them. I mean, is that, was, I mean, they could be doing drugs and do do whatever. be accused of this. And you know yeah. something? To Louis C.K.'s... Just say no. I don't want to see you there. To Louis C.K.'s character, when, uh, when people asked him about this and charged him with this, he said, yes, I did that. You know? And 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 uh, uh, it wasn't like he denied it, and yet this guy has not been able to work since. No, that, see that's bad. That's the way. And it he goes. didn't do anything terrible. I mean, he did oh. say he did warn him. Hey, I want to pull my penis out. Do you mind? Say and if you don't, oh. mi- if you do mind, you can leave. But that's but, the price he had to pay because times have changed. Women have more power now. Well, you know you something. When he did, when he did that, it. times hadn't changed. Okay. What? It, it, the, in other words, this whole thing about the, the, the Me Too movement and everything hadn't happened yet. These charges about what he did, he did maybe four or five years earlier. You know? That makes it okay. No, it doesn't make it okay. I think that he did give them a chance not to have to be assaulted by the visual of his penis. Okay. Alex, are we really coming to a point? Where a woman even has to answer that question. I think women have to be responsible for themselves and for their actions. And if he's, if somebody says to you, I'm going to pull out my penis, do you mind? It's her. It's <laughs> stop, her. Wait a minute. Just stop and repeat that for yourself. What? I'm I mean, going to pull out my penis. Would you mind? Is that that but, makes it okay. No, I'm but saying that if they, the if, if they don't say no, what's he to think? Oh, my God. I have to answer that question. I can't believe that I have to an- Like, Listen, a woman has to answer that question. I, I've known Louis But we don't C. know K. why they were in the room. I've known right? Louis C.K. Okay. No, absolutely. He's, he's, You're right, Tony. We don't know. So we are making an assumption of we have no idea. Two women in his room probably. They were, com- they were comedians themselves. I mean, I don't know anything about this type of thing, Alex. You would know. Wouldn't you think of two women when you're in your room late at night, Alex? And by the way, the there were three women there. It wasn't like three? he was oh going to God. attack them or anything like that. That wasn't what he was up to. He just liked to pull out his penis. Oh, that's and right. By, but, okay. but by the way, I find that, by the way, I find that a little sick. But, yeah, you know, I mean, kind of crazy. thank you. Okay, <laughs> so we'll leave it there. But, but still, we're not but setting still, the standard. But what, about, what, what about these women? None of whom got up and I walked out of the room. No. Okay. How about? How about better. the women that didn't walk out of the room and say, "Well, this is perfectly unacceptable to me. Goodbye." 
No, it was kind of let's sit here. Louis C.K. or to Cuomo? No, no, I'm talking about Louis C.K. Oh, let's leave Louis C.K. behind. You know why? Because I, we, well, none of us here society, on the panel, most of society has because of those accusations. No, 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 no. And some people don't none even remember here, what he was accused of. None of us here on the panel decided that Louis C.K. could no longer work. So it's like a moot point here. We didn't decide he couldn't get a job. We really didn't. Mm -hmm. In Cuomo's case, you're talking about a situation where the women were employed by him. That's different. Let me ask you this. It's completely okay. Okay. different. We, 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 absolutely. We, we, we've gone different. down that road before. Let's get back for a second to Louis C.K. Mm -hmm. uh, Louis C.K. admitted this went on. Okay. Um, it got to, it's to a point now where deny it. No matter what happens, deny it. Because if you say, hey, yeah, I did that. I was wrong. I'm sorry. That's not enough anymore. But John Wilkes Booth admitted shooting no, no, Lincoln. No, that doesn't no, make no. it okay. Now that's what about ism. That's the worst what about ism. But that's ism. stupid. You that's... don't get credit for admitting something. It's still wrong. I'm not saying. You don't understand what I'm saying. What I'm apparently say... not. What I'm saying, there is no virtue in admitting you're wrong and that you I did something saying. wrong and that you plan not to do that action again. Like All right, whole life Cuomo, is okay, let me ask Vernon. Vernon, uh, shouldn't we accept uh, some people's apologies for stuff? Especially I think it's gotten pretty bad where uh, you can't apologize for anything. But right. then again, in this environment that we have, uh, especially since Trump, who never admitted anything that he did that was wrong, and yeah, I, I mean, mean, what's it, the incentive? It's become more and more acceptable not to admit you're wrong. Yeah, what's the incentive for people to say, "Hey, I was wrong. I'm sorry for what I did. I, I, I hope I never do this again." I stole a candy bar. I'm wrong. I grabbed your breast. I'm wrong. Can you see the difference? Well, he's mean Louis C.K. Though it's yeah, like, it's I can't I don't care tell you about my cat is. named Snatches. You know what's funny? <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny? They all applaud JFK as the great president, while him and the brother, you said, were having an affair with Marilyn Monroe. Well, they, were they, were double team. they were double teaming. And she's dealt, he's dealt like royalty. Yeah. The, the, oh, the flickering listen, light forever. Listen, Everybody was having time. sex if, with if Marilyn Kennedy, Monroe. If Kennedy, were, times. if Kennedy were president today, he'd be out of office so goddamn fast to make his head swim. Right? I mean, they got a flickering torch in, uh, in, uh, yeah. when I went to the cemetery. Uh, Jeff, office. you've been quiet. What do you think? Any thoughts? Hmm. Who'd you ask? You, Jeff. You. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, I I think uh, that uh, I used to have a different attitude about the governor about a year ago. Mm -hmm. And since then, he's gotten in a lot of lady problems. Yeah. yeah. To me, it's not. To me, it's not the lady problem. To me, what I heard. From the investigative report, it's not about the lady problem. It's about the fact that he abused his power, and if somebody complained about it, he retaliated against them. Yeah, he, has a a fiduciary, he has a fiduciary responsibility, responsibility to the people that work for him. Yep. Okay. Well, I mean, this is. Uh... You want to come on more often, Robert? You yeah. drive the numbers up. <laughs> no, I drive his blood pressure up. <laughs> my blood pressure. You want to come on more often, anyhow? We miss you. My blood pressure is just fine. You know, I just don't. I just, I just want to see. I don't know. Guys get a, a, a decent. You know, there are a lot of oh, decent Alex. guys in this world. Alan, wait a minute. There are a lot Since of Adam and guys. Eve. A lot of decent guys in this world, who many of them are going to be subject to a world in which just because they're accused they're guilty and i don't like that yeah, i don't like that you if know? you're in the public trust though, i'm like sorry said, i, I refuse to feel guilty for standing up for my penis you know for my maleness and the fact that i've always been proper to women i have never done anything untoward them i've uh, never tried to make them feel do anything that would make them feel uncomfortable that's it, you know. 
Uh, and and except uh, maybe that sock in your pocket. That, yeah. <laughs> well, I couldn't help what was in my pants. Okay. And then you offered to pull the sock out. Yeah. Well, I didn't need a sock. Let me tell you that. Okay. Uh, but I mean, I don't think. I mean, I was always taught to be a gentleman, perfect gentleman. And, and that's the way I led myself in my life. And yes, I would be romantic and I would do, I would pursue women uh, and I would get flirtatious with them and all of that. In, in just the normal way that people get flirtatious. And yet even doing that today is dangerous for a male to even involve himself in. You know, uh, I, I think that were I to be in the business today, uh, I don't know that a lot of my actions wouldn't be uh, taken into uh, question by a crazy woman here and there. That's always a danger, too. You've got to prevent that from happening. You Alex, know? I was a teacher. Nobody knows better than me that if a young girl of 13 wanted to ask you a question after class that you brought her out in the hallway, nobody yeah. understood that better than me. Yeah, exactly. But you're making it sound as if there's this great preponderance of women who prey on men when the number of rapes per year across the country is still astronomical. You're worried about the bathwater and you're forgetting the baby. You know, it's better this way that women finally feel safe to come forward and say, this is wrong and I won't have it. Will it accidentally convict someone who was innocent? Perhaps. But the preponderance of cases are going to be helped by sunshine. You know, sunshine puts a light on truth. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure you're exactly right. No, oh, brother. Uh, you know, you no, go. I don't. Listen, in this very litigious society today, today, society oh, today Alex, I don't trust Alex. anybody, male or female that they aren't going to say something which is, is going to put me in a litigious uh, environment, okay? I mean, you just don't, you can't, Robert, come on. Alex, how many people can you name to a falsely accused of rape? None. How many people can you name who were sexually assaulted? I can. Several. I can name one. Okay, I, one. I, I can name I can sexually name right assaulted, name, maybe name, six or seven. I'll name that person right now. Me. Jeez, of course, it always comes back to yeah, you. No, no, no. But when I have mentioned, especially on this show, that I was uh, what I believe raped once, well, yeah, and I tell the story, nobody wants to believe that that's rape because I'm a guy. That's yeah, because yeah. Como really didn't rape you. It's not funny, I'm Alan. I'm I'm, it's not funny. I mean, I'm saying I went through a very horrific experience, and 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 nobody to this day thinks anything's a big deal about. Ah, hey, you're a guy, so you got raped. And, you know, Alex, and, and it was terrible. by a woman, by the way. That's terrible. But well, yours well, is certainly not the universal experience. It's not even the normal experience. Yeah. Well, no, gee, come on. You're making it sound like rape. And men getting falsely accused is a 50-50 proposition. It just isn't. Uh, you're just saying this to get laid, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you are the worst chauvinist I think I've ever I'm met. I'm not in a my chauvinist. Life. Yes, you are. You admitted it to me on the chat. No, I said that as a joke. Oh, okay. stop. I got it in print now. <laughs> we would like copies. Well, okay. It must be true if you've got it in print. What's the other yeah, thing besides a chauvinist? Yeah. A, a, you no, know, if you read it on the internet, right? Anyway, uh, <laughs> I, listen, I got to go here. The theme is playing. Uh, thank you so much, Jeff, for being here. Thank you very much, John. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Vernon. Thank you, uh, uh, Tony. And uh, thanks to Bob. You should Good do, seeing you guys. You should Good do night. this more Good often. You too. We love Good having night. you here. Yeah, in spite of the fact that you make my life a living hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. Everybody, That's give the a, fun of it. Give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you, okay? There goes our citizen panel. Yeah, they're off into the ether. And we'll be back again tomorrow night. Maybe. 
you know, I, 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 certain nights I, I wonder whether I even want to be here anymore. But that's, uh, whoops. Yeah, okay. So anyway, that's it. Uh, I'll see you again, uh, let's see here, tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. Uh, and in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, if you haven't done so, go get yourself a vaccination. Couldn't hurt. Good night, everybody.